So this is what I feared would be the case with this motor. Okay, so last time I was here, I started uh, taking the engine apart a um, little bit by bit. And I've actually been pleasantly surprised uh, overall. I expected to find uh, things in a lot worse shape than I have so far. I still need to, of course, get to the bottom end. Um, but I took uh, the valve cover off um, and it looked great under there. Um, heat exchanger here. Sorry, there's a little bit of a glare. Um, heat exchanger is actually not too corroded. Um, the inside of the pipes might be hard to see. I mean, the coolant pipes, there's definitely some sediment built up in there, but a flush should be able to take care of that. Um, inside, I don't know if the light can get in there well enough, but there's, you know, a bit of uh, built up corrosion and stuff in there, but nothing too scary. Alternator here I have removed, which is probably toast. Starter here is probably toast. Um, took the raw water pump off, coolant pump, which are sitting right here. I haven't taken this apart. I'm sure the uh, impeller is going to need to be replaced. It's been sitting. Um, doesn't look too bad inside of the coolant pump. Thermostat's in there as well. And I've also got couple other parts exhaust elbow fuel filter the caps for the uh, heat exchanger some fuel lines um, and the air intake as well I'm gonna keep removing parts off the engine and just try to get a better feel for how things are going on the inside
decent amount of carbon build up in there. It's hard to see on the camera. But that needs to be cleaned out for sure. While I'm at this stage, I figure I can show you the top side of the motor here. Just to give you all a peek. So you can see on the inside here no super obvious uh, parts, points of corrosion, um, no buildup of anything, um, and no obvious signs of wear and tear. So that's a pretty good start. So this is what I feared would be the case with this motor is that you can see this cylinder up here looks pretty good. This one here is full of rust and crap and gunk. Um, I don't know if this can be saved. I need to try and clean this up a little bit. Intake and exhaust valves here are absolutely corroded. Um, Gonna have to see if this is salvageable or not. Okay, so I've gone through with an initial sort of rinse and cleaning of the cylinder, and now I'm going to apply some of this um, navy jelly rust dissolver um, to try and get as much of that corrosion out and just get an idea of um, if this cylinder is going to be salvageable or not. It's this like creepy pink color. Just get it all over this thing as much as I possibly can. And I'll just leave that to do its thing. 
So after the first coat, it's removed a ton of rust already. I'm gonna rinse this out and then give it a second, uh, second pass. Well, it finally happened. I dropped something down on the bilge. Important. Now let's try and fish that up. Mm. 